If you're planning to have new carpet or flooring installed in your house, you can save yourself hundreds of dollars by removing your old carpet yourself. In this video, we will show you how to remove the carpet, the carpet padding, and how to prepare your subfloor. To remove the carpet, start by cutting a small square in the corner using a utility knife. You can now pull up the carpet. The carpet is held down with tack strips along the perimeter of the room. Be careful around these, and be sure to wear work gloves and safety glasses throughout the process. Fold the carpet towards the center of the room. In order to make the carpet more manageable, we will be removing it in pieces. Along the fold, cut the carpet with your utility knife. After cutting this section, roll it up and secure it with duct tape. This can now be disposed of. Repeat this step until all of the carpet is removed. The next step is to remove the carpet padding. This will be in smaller sections and is usually secured to the subfloor with staples. Pull up each section of the padding. Be careful as sometimes the staples will be pulled up with the padding. As with the carpet, roll up the sections of padding, secure them with duct tape, and dispose of them. Using the pliers and back of your hammer, remove all staples from the wood subfloor. Use an old towel under your knees for comfort, as this part of the process may take a while. Using a broom and dustpan or wet-dry vacuum, make sure all debris is removed. Finally, remove any rusted tack strips. If you are planning to have new carpet installed, the carpet crew will install new tack strips where needed. If you plan to have hardwood, laminate, or tile floors installed, all of the tack strips will need to be removed. Your room is now ready for new carpet to be installed. If you have any questions about this process, call Hanson Home Inspections at 563-370-7369.